So I've started a command prompt as administrator running with administrator privileges. Uh, we use WCE with the administrator account, the demo domain, and the hash for the administrator account, and we start a new command.exe. Using this command.exe, we're going to ps exec into the domain controller at 172.16.1.1. This is the DC for my demo setup. And as you can see, we logged in as demo slash administrator. We're now going to start up Active Directory users and computers. Get this warning because we couldn't automatically connect to a domain controller, so we tell it to change domain and connect to our domain, which is demo.local. So we're going to try creating a new user. So we go to the new user. We're going to try the name I'm a hacker. Set the logon name. Password, use a long complex password that shouldn't have any problems, passing security restrictions. And we get an error. It's a generic error telling us something bad happened. Uh, this is part of the flakiness with uh, using ADUC and WCE in this manner. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 10 random users using uh, Joe Ware's AD mod. It's a pretty cool little command line utility if you've never played with it. This command that I'm copying and pasting will add 10 random users and set a very long password for each one of them. We will then go in, refresh the view in Active Directory Users and Computers, pick my user 0, and we are going to add them to the domain admins group. So we can demonstrate that our admin privileges are working, we just can't set a password. Click back, verify that it did in fact take place. So we're going to go create a new computer to demonstrate we can do so. I'm going to call it Rogue. And so we're able to add a computer account, and we can go in and reset its domain password for the computer account. But we go back and try to reset the password on one of our created accounts, and it's not going to let us do it. This is one of the side effects, once again, of using WCE to do this. All right, we're going to start computer management, and we're going to connect to another server. In this case, we're going to connect to 2K864-SVR, which is the exchange server, and we're going to restart a rather innocuous service called the uh, remote registry service just to demonstrate that this technique works. So it stops and then it starts. We use WCE to create a token for the MS SQL account. Copy the hash and we're going to start a command.exe. So notice after we start the uh, command.exe here in a sec that after I do a who am I, it's going to show that I'm just the logged in user, so it doesn't have any context that it's a member of the domain. Now I'm going to go start the SQL Studio client. Try to connect regularly and it tells us that uh, we have an authentication error. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click, go to properties, get the command line for the SQL Studio management console, copy and paste it into the command.exe we started, 
and start the SQL Server Studio and we can connect in. One of the oddities you'll notice here is that it's logged in, it claims, with the local user that we showed up as when we did the Who Am I earlier, but when we go to properties for the connection, zoom in, it shows us that we're the MS SQL account for the demo domain. So now we are going to play around with some regular user level accounts. So we're going to create a token as Alice. So there's the username alice.jones and the demo domain. Add the hash and then we're going to create a command.exe. Once again, it just shows that we're logged in as the local user on the uh, Windows 7 box we have here. So we're going to start off Outlook from the command line by heading to the Office 11 path and running Outlook. We create a new profile for Alice, so we're not using the system default profile. Configure it for Exchange and point it at our Exchange domain, 2K64-SVR, dot demo dot local. Username Alice. Check name, and you can see that it underlines it, meaning that it found it in Active Directory. Hit OK. And now we're reading Alice's email. Looking at Alice's calendar, and we can see that she has dinner with the boss at Chez Moi. So now we're going to launch Internet Explorer as Alice. Head to the intranet site. The search provider thing comes up because it believes that the local profile is clobbered by something. So you can see up here at the top that the uh, it's logged in as demo slash Alice using just her hash. So we'll perform a quick search here and Alice apparently does not have access to the, uh, to the database fields here. So we're mapping to the network share and we see that there is a directory for Alice which we can see the contents of try to change to Bob's directory. We don't have access. Same thing holds true for the CEO. Try to create a file with hello Alice in the CEO's directory and we're told access is denied. We go to Alice and echo hello world and we have write permissions so we can see that it has been written to the file. Now we create a token as Bob in the demo domain, copy Bob's hash over. What we're going to do with Bob's account is we are going to kill the explorer.exe process and start a new one as Bob. Launch the command window. Go to task manager, find explorer.exe and kill it. Now with the new Explorer window, this allows us to use built-in Windows tools from the Start menu as Bob because they will be started with his security token. So we can go straight to the intranet site and immediately log in. Once again, we get the search provider warning and zoom in and you can see that it says Welcome to Bob Franklin. So we're going to connect over to the Y drive, which is what we connected as with Alice. We can't access Alice's share. We can access Bob's because we're logged in as Bob. Now keep in mind the other token is still running in the other window as Alice. 
So this allows us to have multiple users up and access multiple locations at the same time without uh, stomping on each other. So now we're going to launch a token as the CEO, CEO.boss. Use his hash here. We're going to go see what his uh, access looks like. Going to launch Internet Explorer. Point at the internet site. Click past the search corruption. And we notice that there is a new CEO tab. We click on the CEO tab and now we have access to Bob's Outlook information uh, conveniently located in SharePoint. So what do we have? We have uh, ooh, buyout talks with Dr. Evil. Uh, apparently he's attending Black Hat to try to find Bob's replacement. Uh, has having dinner with Alice. Shamwa and uh, dinner with the wife. Ooh, that could be uh, awkward. Now we're going back to Alice's command window. Verify we still have access to the share as Alice. Now we're going to launch an Internet Explorer as Alice and see what happens when we have IE opened with two different tokens. Go to the Internet site and we find out that it's still the CEO. Probably what happened is another thread with the existing IE was opened. 